Hi, I'm Bailey Sims. Join us next as we visit the Coral Restoration Foundation in Key Largo, Florida. what the Coral Restoration Foundation is doing to help our oceans. The Coral Restoration Foundation is a 5013C nonprofit, and our mission is to develop and implement um, effective strategies for raising and outplanting the Acropora corals, staghorn and alcorn. They were so prolific back in the 1970s. They are a major reef building coral and they've had a 98% loss over the last 30 years and our goal is to um, give them a hand up in re-establishing their natural populations. We also have the availability for uh, dive groups to come from all over the country and do programs with us. We have a one-day program or a two-day program. We give them the information that they need to be effective, understanding of coral biology, uh, the techniques that we use, and the benefit that the corals get from the work that we do. Um, and then we take them out and we actually let them help us work not only in our nurseries, but also out planting on the reef. Typical CRF program will start in the morning at their education center, which is nice new education center over in the Port Largo area. And we'll go through there and they do a great presentation uh, talking about why we're in the position we're in and what we can do to help from here. Now, from there, there's actually some hands-on things that we'll do to practice what we'd be doing in the afternoon. Only in the classroom where it's easier to discuss how to do the things logistically. These things that I'm talking about would be uh, hanging corals from the tree, rehanging them in smaller fragments so that Balance these fragments can grow on and, and uh, so be larger the corals that we would then outplant to the reefs. Uh, we're also practicing uh, securing these corals to the limestone foundation out on the reef. And when we're out there, we use a special marine grade two-part epoxy to affix the coral to the limestone substrate so it can grow. Uh, when we're down there doing this, we like to clean off all the algae from around the area that's being planted, especially the areas where the coral and the epoxy will be touching that limestone substrate there. We want to make sure it affixes uh, very securely so that wave action doesn't disturb the coral and knock it off of its foundation, essentially. Uh, we also we use hammers and chisels to scrape away the algae there. That's how we remove that. And we use little Hershey Kiss sized epoxy pieces to um, place on at least three points of contact of the corals so that they have a strong foundation to the reef. We'll do anywhere from 10 to uh, up to 100 corals depending on the sizes of the groups that come down to work with us. Um, we've taken kids out there as young as 10 um, and they do very well. They actually do better sometimes than some of the adults we work with. So we like we love to have the kids. And if if we don't teach and inspire that next generation to continue our work and and to help make it a better place, it's going to end with us. And, and it can't. They have to carry it on. So of course you want to do this properly, like with anything else. So you want to go through the right channels that being CRF because they have the correct permits and permission to be able to do this out at the reef. You don't just want to go out there and try to cowboy it on your own. There is a structure to it and there's a reasoning for that. So going through CRF there for all your needs is the way to do it. Nice part is this can be something you can do individually. This could be something you can go through your local dive shop to do. 
you can come down here to the Florida Keys and check out their education center yourself. There's a lot of great avenues you can do to get involved with Coral Restoration Foundation. That was a pretty neat trip for me. And if you're interested in finding out more about the Coral Restoration Foundation, contact them or check out their website. <laughs>